This is Jeff Hicks, curator of the Strange As It Seems archives and grandnephew of John Hicks, creator of Strange As It Seems in 1928. Today we're burrowing back into the archives to Tuesday, February 25th, 1941. On this day, John Hicks published a Strange As It Seems comic strip, entertaining fans around the world with interesting facts about mimosa plants, philosopher Jonathan Edwards, long-tailed shrews, and Winston Churchill, who was Prime Minister of England at the time. In February of 1941, World War II had been raging for a year and a half across Europe, and Churchill was leading his country out of a long winter. Nazi bombing campaigns had reduced much of England to rubble. America was still sitting on the sidelines, and our country was deeply divided over the war. What I find interesting about this comic strip is that John Hicks chose to highlight a time in Churchill's career when he was first Lord of the Admiralty at the outbreak of World War I, when America was again sitting on the sidelines, reluctant to get involved in that war. I wonder how Uncle John felt about the argument. The isolationists in America thought World War I was a colossal mistake, and we should sit this one out. But President Roosevelt and the internationalists worried about what would happen if Germany won. And it looked then like that's the way it was going. They thought we could stay out of the war, but we should at least provide our allies with military aid. Two weeks before this comic strip was published, Churchill gave a speech in which he spoke directly to Roosevelt, urging him to give us the tools and we'll finish the job. Well, Roosevelt persuaded America to answer Churchill's call, but it took more than Churchill's enthusiasm and America's armaments. Nine and a half months later, Japan bombed Pearl Harbor. The argument was moot. The U.S. was in it again, up to its eyeballs. It would be another four long years before the job was finished. Strange as it seems.